Today, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome embossed font. I'm using just one layer of extra strong cutaway stabilizer. We'll stitch the positioning line right onto it, where we're going to place our embroidery font. I picked a 3mm font size, but feel free to go bigger if you want, and secure it with some tape. We stitch the next line directly onto this foam. You'll notice that the small, dense stitches perforate the foam, making it easy to tear away. I used Gunold foam, which is extra strong, and I kind of regretted it because it's tough to tear. Other special embroidery foams tear much more easily. You can also use two layers of 2mm embroidery foam to get a 4mm height, which makes it much easier to tear away. Two layers of thin foam work perfectly. After tearing away all the foam, we take a spray adhesive and lightly spritz our creation to stick it to our t-shirt. I marked the center on the t-shirt with pins. You can use any other stickers or non-permanent markers that disappear. Personally, I'm not a fan of markers because sometimes they don't disappear. Carefully place it in the center and press down with your fingers. Now it's ready to embroider. To embroider, I had to turn the t-shirt inside out and secure it with pins around the edges so my adhesive doesn't come undone. This style of embroidery is called floating. So, we tucked in the edges of the t-shirt and stitched the final seam around the embroidery foam. And there you have it. Your stunning embossed font is ready. You can see that I'm trimming the cutaway stabilizer around the letters. Try to trim as gently and evenly as possible along the perimeter of the letters on the left side. This is especially important if your t-shirt is even a little bit see-through. These fonts create an interesting and impressive effect. So go ahead and embroider and enjoy the process. This method is also quite quick, so you'll be happy with the results. Check out more embossed faux puffy fonts in the store. Leave your comments. I'd love to hear your feedback.